हेलो गेट एस्पिरेंट्स वेलकम टू पार्ट 14 ऑफ गेट मैथमेटिकल फिजिक्स सीरीज क्वेश्चन नंबर 17 कंसीडर ए टू डायमेंशनल कार्टेशियन कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम इन व्हिच ए रैंक टू कॉन्ट्रावेरिएंट टेंसर इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय द मैट्रिक्स 0 1 0 कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम इज रोटेटेड एंटी क्लॉकवाइज बाय एन एक्यूट एंगल थीटा विद द ओरिजिन फिक्स्ड व्हिच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग मैट्राइसिस रिप्रेजेंट द टेंसर इन द न्यू कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम सो दिस इज गिवन टू अस and it will be a rotation matrix if determinant of m is equal to plus or minus 1 and it should be symmetric it should be symmetric so in each matrix we will check it so this is not symmetric so this is symmetric sin square 2 theta so this will be minus of sin square 2 theta minus of cos square 2 theta so this will be minus 1 This is not symmetric, and here it will be determinant will be minus of sine two theta cos theta cos two theta, which is not equal to plus or minus one. So here option B is correct. Next question: A four cross four matrix has the property m dagger is equal to minus of m. That means it is Q Hermitian matrix. And m raised to four is equal to one, where one is the four cross four identity matrix. Which one of the following is the correct set of eigen values for matrix n? So it is a screw Hermitian matrix. That means eigen values are either zero or purely imaginary. So let us check. These are real. These are real. So in in B and C we have to consider. Also, trace of this matrix M will be equal to summation of lambda i. So either zero, that means their addition is has to be equal to zero. So here addition will be zero. So option B is correct. Next question. Which one of the following options represent linearly independent pairs of functions? of real variable so for that we will calculate wrong scan that is y1 y2 y1 dash y2 dash and this should not be equal to 0 then those are linearly independent functions so let us check for first one we have e raised to ix e raised to minus ix then its derivative will be i into e raised to ix minus i e raised to minus ix So this will be this will be minus i minus i that is minus of two i which is not equal to zero so that means they are linearly independent. Next second one we have x and e raised to x. So derivative of x is one e raised to x is e raised to x. So this is x into e raised to x minus e raised to x that is x minus one into e raised to x. Exponential function is non-zero, so in general this will not be equal to zero, so linearly independent. So option B is also there. Then for third one we have two raised to x, and its derivative is two raised to x log of two or ln of two. Then we have two raised to x minus three, then two raised to x minus three into log of two. This is two raised to x into two raised to x minus three. So this will be two s to two x minus three into log of two minus this will be two s to two x minus three into log of two, which is equal to zero. So this is linearly dependent. Then option four, this will be e s to i x into sine of x. So i into e s to i x and cos of x. So this will be e raised to i x into cos of x minus i into e raised to i x into sine of x. So e raised to i x cos x minus i sine x. So this will be e raised to i x into e raised to i x, which is e raised to two i x, and it is not equal to zero. So it is linearly independent. 
so option b is correct so option a b and d next question consider two real functions u and v where k is a real constant a b c are real coefficients if u plus i v is analytic then what is the value of a into b into c if it is analytic function that means it will follow cauchy riemann equations and cauchy riemann equation is do u by do x is equal to do v by do y so this u of x is equal to y into x cube minus x into y cube so do u by do x is equal to 3x square into y minus y cube and do v by do y is equal to 4by cube plus 2c x square y a k is constant so here we have x square y x square y so that means their coefficients will be same so 3 is equal to 2c and y cube y cube so minus 1 is equal to 4b so from here c is equal to 2 by 3 and from here b is equal to minus 1 by 4 also we have do u by do y is equal to minus of do v by do x so do u by do y is equal to x cube minus 3x y square then minus of do v by do x so here we have x and x this will be 4a x cube minus sign c so 2 2 will be there so 2 c x into y square so we have x y square x y square here so minus 3 is equal to minus 2 c so c is equal to 2 by 3 and 1 is equal to minus of 4 a so that means a is equal to minus 1 by 4 so a b c is minus 1 by 4 into minus 1 by 4 into 2 by 3 so this will be 2 and 2 will cancel out 3 to the 6 into 4 Okay, sorry. This this is three by two. This C is three by two, and here also it is three by two. So one by four into three by two. So this will be three upon sixteen to the thirty two. So here option D is correct. Next question. F of Z is equal to Z square sine Z upon Z minus pi raised to four. And z is equal to pi which one of the following is correct so this is function and we can find out singular values so z minus pi raised to 4 is equal to 0 that means z is equal to pi is a singular point now let us find out limit z tending to pi z square sine z upon z minus pi raised to 4 that is limit of z tending to pi now, if we put z is equal to pi here, then in the numerator we have sine pi that is 0 and upon 0. So, this will be of 0 by 0 form. So, then we have to take derivative on both sides in the numerator and also in the denominator. So, that is 2z into sin z plus z square cos z upon 4 into z minus pi cube. Now, if we put z is equal to pi then in the numerator we have 0 so if we put z is equal to pi here then this first term will be 0 and second term will be pi square into cos pi that is minus 1 so minus pi square upon denominator will be 0 so this is of form finite value upon 0 form so that means z is equal to pi is pool and order is 3 so pole of order 3 so here option b is correct next question consider the vector field v bar consisting of the velocities of points on a thin horizontal disk of radius 2 meter moving anti clockwise with uniform angular speed omega is equal to 2 radian per second about an axis passing through its center if v is equal to v bar then which of the following options are correct in the options r cap and theta cap are unit vectors corresponding to the plane polar coordinates r and theta and you can use this divergence curl and gradient laplacian operation 
operators. So first is del of v, next is divergence of v, curl of v and so on. So we have to calculate all these things. Now we know v bar is equal to omega bar cross r bar. So omega is along z cap direction. So omega z cap cross this will be r r cap. So we have omega r z cap cross r cap is phi cap. That means its magnitude is omega into r and direction is phi cap. Now first is gradient of v. So its magnitude. So this will be equal to we are considering uh, here we are considering its uh, we are considering this phi cap direction only. So first we will check gradient then divergence and then curve and so on. So this will be equal to we have r cap and this will be equal to dou by dou r. So I am doing this dou by dou r of omega r. So this will be equal to r cap into we have omega and dou by dou r is 1. So this will be omega r cap but omega is 2 so this will be 2 r cap. So option A is correct. Now second we have divergence of V. So we have divergence of V and this is A phi phi cap. So we have to consider second one. So that is this one. So this will be 1 upon r then we have dou by dou phi of omega r. But there is no phi term so this will be equal to 0. So second option is wrong. Next option c. We have to check uh, its curl as well. So for c part we have v bar is equal to omega r phi cap. So this is a phi phi cap. So only a phi terms we will take. So this is equal to curl of v is equal to. So here it is a z. So here we have a phi. Then this term will not be there and this term. So only those terms we will consider. So first is minus of dou a phi by dou z into s cap and plus second term is here uh, we have used r so let us use r upon 1 by r dou by dou r of r into a phi so this we will calculate now now minus of dou by dou z of omega into r r cap so this will be 0 and second is 1 by r dou by dou r r into omega r and into we have z cap here. So this will be 0 because there is no z term. This will be 1 by r dou by dou r of omega r square. So omega into 2r into z cap. So this r and r will cancel out. So this is 2 omega z cap. But omega is 2 so this will be 4 z cap. So option c is correct. Well z cap is the unit vector perpendicular to r theta plane. Now fourth one, fourth one is Laplacian of V. So here also consider A phi term. That is first term we will consider only. So we have del square of V is equal to 1 by R. Then we have dou by dou R of R and dou F by dou S which we have already calculated right. So F by dou S. So dou by dou R. Let us do it again anyway. So this will be r into omega. So this will be equal to 1 by r dou by dou r of r and dou r by dou r is with omega r. So this is omega r again. So this will be omega by r and omega is 2 and r is 1.5. So that is 3 by 2. So this is 4 by 3. So option D is correct. So here option A, C and D are correct. So these were all the questions from GATE 2023 paper. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Keep learning.